Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Gadget Racers on the PS2 or sure, QHD3. I haven't said that in a while. In the last part, um, we did the final bits of the races and in this part will be, sadly, this is going to be the last episode. And in this part, I basically I wanted to try and, we have to collect all the bodies and I've done most of it off screen. However, I wanted to see what, I wanted to show you what happens once you get all the bodies. Because we look right now, we have only two missing, which is number 141 and 148, which can both be gets in the long courses. But first, I have missed a couple of items in this game, and we are going to get them right now. And the way to get them is that we uh, have to get these certain parts to someone. So, just in case of the easiest section, I might as well just... Do that, go there the first time and cut off the rest and the, 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 yeah. You get the idea with that, hopefully. Basically, I'm just going to drive there with all the attachments. I'm going to show them off, but I ain't going to keep showing the drive. Like there, because I've got to do this like seven times. Hello, by the way. Seven, I think, seven, five. It's quite a few, so I'll probably just like, just get to the, uh, the text area. Near here, you. I want everything. That is that a ship bottom? Mm, it's mine. I really want that ship bottom. I really want it. I want it. Yeah, yes. Just take it. Just give me all the items in the game. So we got a construction sign. A symbol for Splash Highway. Right. If I can go to the garage. So yeah, you'll get it. I'll I'll see you there. Can we stop bumping into you recently, sir? <laughs> I wonder if this is going to keep happening every time. Probably. I don't know. Not missed him. Come on. You. I want everything. Yes. Just, yeah, yeah, we know. We know. And he gives us this, the satellite dish. The symbol for two-turn factory. Right then, we have two more to go, if I can press the right thing. And you know the course, I will see you there. Yep, yeah, jumping heli, with, with, with one item, now, yes. And we get a shell. Uh, a symbol for nothing, really. It's just, it's just something cute. If I can show you, hang on, if I can get to the D attachments, the shell is right here. Oh, how cute, there's a pearl inside the little shell. Yes. In fact, we're just for fun, we're going to wear it. While we're going to quickly get to the last attachment. Never mind. The last attachment. Need to space. That, that we need. That, that, that we can do the races to get the devil tires. And also, just to let you know, I have actually like tried the devil tires. They're amazing. Literally. But I don't know. I can don't know if you can drift with them unless I'm pressing the drift button wrong. Because I like to double tap it to the whole thing. I want everything that that's a side jet, and yes, this is the last attachment, I believe. I mean, there isn't any others, I mean, I've tried every attachment in the game. Yes, and we finally get a Raymond Bolt, the symbol of Asian Miracle. So yeah, we got every si uh, item that symbolizes a course, and I believe that's it, unless there's anything else. If there is, I'll probably do an extra episode, probably after this one. So anyway, now on to the race courses, and for the race course, I want to try and defeat two... the uh, Um... Disco King L course... Without the Hot Rod. Which is probably going to be a tough time with the Engine Plus 5. It's going to be quite a challenge, so I'm going to need all the things I can get. So right then, let's try and defeat it. And then we'll probably do another course, perhaps we'll be using a different car, because... The rims are going to be in the car, the colour that your car is. Now I'm going to be switching it so that I can get the rims colour in a white or silver. 
So anyway, enough talking, on to the race. And we're going to do Disco King L because our two bodies are nothing in the long courses, I believe. If not, we're screwed. Let's go. Down the road. Yes, Disco King L without a hot one. Uh, this is going to be fun. Uh, we have unlimited jet turbines, so hopefully this can help. But when I say unlimited, we got about a good amount of supply. Thanks to the uh, D attachment that we have on. Yeah. No. <laughs> oh god. All depends on how well I drive. And if I don't break the game. Because if you can hear my PS2 running, it's quite loud. Very loud. And it's about God knows how much of how years old. And I think it's on its last legs. But hopefully it should be A-OK. -okay. I say that. Ow. Because it's square blocks. It's... Death, 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 made it. Here we are, The turbo. Spam. Keep spamming. Spam. Ah, now we So far, I get. What's going well until we hit in the body giant golf pin ball thing? So I'm happy with fourth at the moment. Leave me alone. But, oh, which reminds me, what am I going to be doing after this? Obviously it's going to be another Cure Q game. But uh, I am in the process of thinking which one I'm doing first, HD4 or Shin, which if you don't know is Seek and Destroy, which is a Cure Q tank game. But I want to try and get most of the Cure Q games, but there's one on Game Boy at first that looks really amazing. Which looks really similar to Bro Trip Adventure. However, uh, what I what I now plan to do once I don't get stuck is a uh, seek and destroy. Why? Because I find this that that seek and destroy relatively easy to complete. To be honest, it's not that hard. The only thing that you have to do is you have to replay some missions because you do have to get stuck choice between two missions like multiple times I believe in that game but eh, it's, a, it's a fun simple game I'm gonna give it that and it does have some pure Q logic as well so that's always fun yeah I think I might do Shin before HG4 because HG4 is a long game with a lot of side missions and also don't forget the um, playthroughs as well which I'm redoing HG1 and also what I want to mention, I'm also thinking of doing a rerun of HG2. Without the crappy mic, I was using then. But yeah, that's why I'm using redoing HG. I'm going to redo HG2 with a better mic and a better catcher card. Redo of a HG2 Let's Play. I'm also doing a walkthrough. Spoilers. On cars. And mate, enough jokes. We came here to win. Hopefully we can do that. Almost wall riding. So it looks like our only problem is a Lotus Lease at the moment. And how much turbines do we have left? We got... I'll say about three quarters. Done! That's so far. Ow. Ow. That's a wall. Blocked. Shin's got probably going to be my next game. Oh. A 
As well as, I want to try and get other plans for Pure Q. I know there's a boat game, plane game. Maybe the old generation ones I really want to get as well. However, there is newer ones, but they're only in Japan. But come on, I want the... We Pure Q fans want these items too. And Garbage Man is having a problem. He's just got dragged all the way by that other AR. This is going down for the wire. Who's gonna win? I bet that guy. I know that the wheelie cancel, but sometimes I like to drift around things. See you, Dirt. That was a bad idea. The turbos. Oh, no. We have a little bit left for this next session. Se the se section. <laughs> oh, Almost there. Intense to say it's the beat to me. Tastes like the dinner I had last night, just kidding. Right, race done. So yeah, it's possible that you can do this without the hot rod and big tires and stuff. You just really need a lot of jet turbines. So hey, moving on, we have done that and we got our more average kilometer risen. Awesome. We got 3000 and we get body 141, the Mazda RX-7, the old one. So now let's move on to the final race and doing a different uh, stuff. And today we will be using the, finally the Nissan Skyline R34 GTR. Right, and you are, otherwise it would have had a little scoop wood thing on the hood. Wood, yeah, it's totally made of wood. And the last course, what ones we go for? Mm, don't know. Oh, lastly, I've got an idea. Let's show off some of these D items. And there we are. There's our Raymond Bowl symbol for Asian Miracle. Let's do that. And hit your splash. Racing. Engine with. Um, just for fun, let's go for plus three. And let's go for Asian Miracle. Because we have the symbol on Asian Miracle as an attachment. So why not? Let's hope we can actually do this. Hang on. Oh. <laughs> Trying to scratch me back, don't mind me. Anyway, I was saying, I'm in. Right, which is what I was saying, I want to try and get my hands on the old QRQ games. They'd probably be worth really expensive now. Unless you get on the download it on the computer via emulator, which I want to try and get a new computer soon, but. Sadly, I don't have the money for it. No, <coughs> you didn't hear anything. Anyway, yeah, I was saying you could probably get it on emulator. It's probably somewhere. I don't know, you could get HG2, HG1, and HG4. I'm not sure about HG3 emulator. I don't know if that's still being asked or not, but. However, I'm pretty sure that the old emulator is still there. And right, even with some of the old games that's lost, that's like their company's banned. Like Revolt, for example. That was a really good game. I missed it, to be honest. The music was also good in that game. It, well, if you ever played Micro Machine, and um, what's another game to compare it to? I'd say it's mainly like Micro Machine. Uh, I'm trying to think of an RC game. What's that new MotorStorm game that involves RC cars? It's a bit like that and uh, combined with Micro Machines, but just with RC with uh, remote control cars. It's actually really fun to play. But yeah, I'm, I'm just evil. And whilst I'm going back to the old QRQ games, I would like to try them. The soundtracks are amazing, though, especially the Cure. How, however you say it. Three and two. I'm not sure if they made another one after three. Probably, unless, unless they started with the HG series. Maybe, I might have to look it up. Because there's actually quite a lot of 
the, 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 the Chore Q games, Chore Q, whatever you want to call it. There is quite a lot of games there. I'm surprised at how many they actually made, because they made, I think, over 12. I'm, I'm actually guessing it. There. And it's also based, based off these little dinky toy cars, which is amazing. They're so cute. Which basically, I want to try and get most of them that I like. Because I know they have a bunch of Japanese ones there. Like Nissan's. They have good supers. I've got the Su 2B Super. Kill Q. I've got the Nit. Oh, and they also have special editions. Like the anime editions. Yo, they're amazing. I wonder how, how much detail can they get on a little car it amazes me still. The anime Kill Qs are amazing. Especially one like I'm interested in the anime as well. No, duh. But I don't really much talk about it because there's a lot. And I mean a lot. And there's a lot of topics, it's like, yeah, um, I don't want to start it in case there's an argument somewhere. Sometimes, whatever you watch, there's got to be someone who doesn't like that anime. I mean, I'll give, I'll give them a try, yeah, sure. I'll give them a watch, and then, don't mind it. If they're bad, I don't watch them again, if they're alright. If they're a good anime, I can get hooked. If they're okay, I can probably go back to it now and then. Like Attack on Titan. I still don't know how I haven't come across the whole season yet. It's like the first episode's in there. And I keep getting told that the rest of the series is really, really good. So I want to try and get myself in back into it. But there's too much more good animes for me to watch it. But anyway, off the topic of that and more Cure Q. Actually, I wouldn't mind a Cure Q anime. Or cartoon, to be fair. There is Cars, which is based off here. There's the Rocket League, which is based off the football game of Cure Q, but I would say it's, it's, a, it's a little bit similar, but it's kind of not. Because, yeah, I don't know. I say it's a bit similar, but the uh, car styles. Well, would the attack? Yeah, Rocket League is basically another. It's like similar to Cure Q. But back on topic, I wouldn't mind a cartoon or an anime of Cure Q. There's cars. Yeah, we know, which is based off it. But I want a actual Cure Q anime. But likelihood of that happening, I don't know. I mean, they keep making the cars. The Tommy keeps making the cars, though. the little toy cars, which is still quite impressive. But still no game and still no cartoon, which. It would be awesome to see. And where's, where's our opponents? We have talked basically all the way through the race and we're... Wow. Okay, maybe we could have used Engine Plus 2 then. We could have might have used Engine Plus 2. But actually, no, when I think about it, games based on cartoons. Okay, yeah, my mind just bought. Maybe that's a bad idea here. <coughs> because there's been quite a number of failed ones as well. Take Legend of Zelda. Or the Blimit Tekken movies. Yeah, they're kind of bad. But hopefully Cure can make it right. If it happens. But anyway, we have done the race, which is all the main things. And we got our final body, which is hopefully body. We have one, four, eight. And we got all the bodies. And we have received a package. Congratulations on collecting all the body types. Here's something that you might like. This is an article not available for sale. Please accept it as our gift to you. Thank you. We get the Devil Tire. Wow. What do you mean World of Warcraft? This is cool Q, mate. Anyway, off the topic. <laughs> I really admired you. Well, off I go. Okay, bye. Right then, as we can see, once we get off of all of our attachments, also the sign, we have, that's the bodies, the devil tires in our car, and I think that looks really nice in this silver, yeah, and it's impossible, the same, like, thing from Pure QHD2, and I'll show you quickly, the, uh, 
on how good they are. If I can find just, uh, we need plus six. Now, before I forget, I should have stayed in the body to begin with. Let's quickly buy all the parts so that we got them, which is right here. We haven't got sports tires. We haven't got all terrain tires. We got that. 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 We got all of this, and we now have everything. Right, and now we have all the parts in the game. So now let's use the new devil tires. Going back to our main body, which is the Alpha Romero ZS, and also got all bodies. And I have resprayed some of the colours. I might respray the S2000s. I might do that all at one point, just respray all the cars. Not all of them, some of them are looking nice and not definitely not that, I'm leaving that. Uh but yeah. I would like and wouldn't mind respraying some of these cars. Alright, okay, getting off it, and what's we use? Just the hot rod, let's just use the hot rod. And for the triangle of our little new tyres, we are going to do... Why do I keep saying everything little? Uh, space trip is too long. Uh, let's see, 5 minutes. 16 minutes. I'll square it with try space trip. Because basically this has a snow section and a non-road section, and which is basically perfect. So basically, as you can imagine, these tyres are just gripped to everything. And I mean... I've got a better idea. We've got a better idea where we can try this. Take off all the attachments, I've got a better idea. What better way to try it than exploring an Echo Forest? But yeah, as you can see, these tyres grip to everything and it just accelerates really quickly. And I want to see if you can try and drift in this. And simple answer is... No, 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 you can't drift. No. And as you can see, it can handle water a bit better. Just not as good. By the way, it's pretty much the same tyres in the one in HD2, but it doesn't have that overpowered engine. That it has, but it's still pretty quick when you get off, like from naught to 200. And you know, if I would time myself, I would actually. Let's go over to that straightway over there and see how fast we get up from naught to zero. And I'm probably going to get after somewhere, just like an aftermarket clock, once I do this. So let's try three. Two, one, and it's pretty much get there. And it's like the same with all the, all terrain. So this is snow. If I was using normal different size, I wouldn't be able to handle this. But yeah, so that's all. That's all we get from completing the bodies. We could go at this when we're doing the Grand Prix, but actually no, that wouldn't work because you need bodies from the Grand Prix. So basically, yeah, something a little extra for completing the game. Not as good as HG2, but still kind of good in its own right. And there's a rock over there. No, no, just for the last time, let's go and collect it. And what is this rock? We get unpolished stone, it's not a rock. I wish it was a rock. And now let's exit. Yeah, I like the table size. However, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind changing the rim design, but that's probably just me being picky. So you, for the last, oops, time. What's the stone that we got? Hello, welcome to uh, that guy's place. Would you have any? Yes. Yes. Interesting. Let's see. It must be blue. It's a sapphire. Yes, it is. A long time ago, this was believed that the kings were more war, war, wore this on their rings to protect themselves from harm's way. They also believed to extreme healing powers. 
It definitely has a mysterious blue colour. I believe that rubies are simply red sapphires. Well, let me buy this from you. We get 7,000 dirk, which is the most that we got in this star. Well, if you find anything else, please come back. Yes, of course we won't. Until, like, we, if we do another playthrough. But anyway, but that will be all in this playthrough. This will be the last part, sadly. And... Yeah, HD2 was a fun game, if you can get it. Sadly, it's only in the EU and Japan. Why didn't you give it in America? Anyway, yeah, it's a fun game. I would highly suggest trying, probably getting it on the emulator if it's somewhere. I mean, maybe. Or probably try and find a way to you get a PS2 emulator and try and get the disc. Power yeah, this is probably like a hard game to find. Because it's not sold in America! Why is it not sold in America, you swords? Anyway, <laughs> I'll leave it off here. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you in the next Cure Q game, which will be Seek so and Destroy. And if you don't want to watch that, we'll probably just. It's, it's probably like it's going to be a short let's play, so HD4 will be after that. And then we'll be revisiting HD2. As well as the going along with the other playthroughs. So I will see you in the next playthrough, which will be the Let's Play, which is going to be Seek and Destroy. So I will see you later. Take care.